This is the material I'm going to be using. Leather material. And this is the main pan. I'm going to be using it to cut out two. So I'm just going to cut out now. So we now have two main panel cut out now. I'm just going to cut out the bottom panel. Okay guys, we are done with the cut out. These are the two main panels. This is the handle cut out. This one is the side. There are two, two of them. And this is the bottom panel. These are the handle order. So I'm going to be cutting out the linings for this bag. Take note, we are using red suede. I said it before. Let's cut on this mark. So I show you cut on the line. This is the lining for the main panel now. So I'm going to cut out two of these. I want your bag to be very thick. You can cut out two stabilizer, two pieces of this. Exactly. When you cut them out, ensure that they are like half an inch or one inch less than the cut out for the main panel. I also have my lining cut out. You can also use the same pair plates to cut out your lining. Next is to apply gums. Gum I use. Top bond. So we are just applying gum. Apply gum all around. I applied gum. This is the right side of the Ankara print. I'm using Ankara print. It's an original Ankara, 100% cotton. So I'm just going to lay it. It's too big for you to walk with it. You cut out a bit. So I have the wrong side facing down already. Before you lay, please ensure the gum dries first so that it doesn't stain your fabric. You use your hand to kind of smoothen it out. I'm going to trim out. And when you are trimming, ensure you leave like half an inch excess for the print. Remember, you are going to be folding in like this. Just use your hand to smoothen it out. Then you turn and also smoothen out from the back. Okay, anywhere there is wrinkle, just use your finger to kind of smooth it out. So apply gum on this edge so that we can fold the excess fabric onto it like this. So this is the handle. I'm just going to apply gum. A very light gain material. So I'm just going to lay this gummed part of the handle on it, ensuring that there is excess around it, like half an inch or one inch. Then I'll use my hands to kind of smooth it like this. Then I'm going to cut. While cutting, ensure that there's excess fabric. Remember, we are going to be wrapping it. Apply gum on the edges before we start wrapping this onto it. This corner that is like this. So to make the wrapping easy, I'm just going to notch it here. So that it will be easy for me. Let me just notch the four sides. Okay. Like this, so, so let it dry a bit. Take 
take one of these earrings, pass it through. Measurement was one inch from here to here. It's going to be easily passed through. It's going to be like this. Just pull it in, break this together. Then you can clip. Before you clip, actually, I'll advise you to pull gum on this so that it can just stick together. So this basically is going to look. If this handle is looking too light, so you can cut a strap of leather that is one inch in width and just put it on it. It's going to make it a bit thicker. I'm just going to apply gum on this. I'll apply on this, then I'll stick it like this. Like this. You can now take it to the sewing machine. I am going to sew from this point to this point. I have two of it done already for the handles. This is the handle. Just going to sew this. to this other side and I've tied it just to secure it in place so once finished tying I'm just going to cut the thread off then I'll take my fire light and burn blue flame that's what I'm using to burn I'm not using the yellow one so once you are through you're going to have your handle like this okay so I've finished with the handle this eye is going to look like see like this to so do this one this is five inches by five inches I'm going to apply gum on it now then lay it on this fabric here make sure that this surface is not stained Excess, like half an inch excess. Remember, I'm going to be wrapping onto the material. So, once you cut it out like this and you have trimmed it off, I'm just going to apply gum on the edges so we can fold it onto the gummed area. So, you can apply a bit of gum here, a bit of gum here. The side panel you can see the cut out here i've wrapped two of this so the two main panel have been wrapped so you just take the lock part place it on this part here like this you can clip it in place if you want make sure they are aligned so once you've clipped in place i'm just going to sew this slighted part and this part i'm not going to be sewing here remember we still have the size to be sewed so i'm just going to sew this so this leaving this side alone we're going to be using our manual machine to do all of this sewing have you able to sew this to it remember that i'm not stabilize this so that it will be easy for us to sew with this machine so when you stabilize it and you are trying to sew this to it, it will be very difficult for you. So it's advisable for you not to stabilize it. I actually mean by stabilizing is that you shouldn't have any hard stuff to make it strong. So I'm going to do the same thing to this guys. So we are going to be fixing this handle holders before we actually start stabilizing it. I'm going to be measuring where I'm going to be placing this handle holder here on the second panel. On this side, I'm just going to take three and a half inches and from the top i'm taking one inch so i'll turn it take one inch this is where we are going to be placing our handle holders okay so i will do the same thing here and i'll take one inch from the top just the same way i did the first one take one inch so i'm going to cross it what i'm going to do i'm going to take this handle and i'll pass it through here the d ring like this i'm just going to take it Ensure that the side of it is on the side of this and the top of it is just below the mark that I marked one inch mark from the top. So watch me please. Let me use it now guys. You can use your double sided tape to hold this in place. 
Then I'm going to use my mark to draw a kind of line on it, around it, which is going to act as a guide. So I'm just going to draw a line around it. So by the time I'm sewing and this one is moving away, I'll be able to position it. Let's take it to the sewing machine. I will sew on it and we'll come back to do the second one here. And either back stitch when it gets to the end or just leave it the way it is and pass the thread through the back i'm going to do that this is one i did before this is the first one I'm stabilizing this because i want the effect to be like this you can see how hard this is it's very hard so i want the effect to be this and also we're going to be attaching the zipper to it i'm going to be explaining how i attach this zipper panel to it but first of all let's stabilize this Applying a bit of gum, applying gum and just start putting them, kind of stabilize it, ensuring that it doesn't get to the edge. If it gets into the edge, you can trim off some pieces from it. Remember, we are going to be sewing with our manual own domestic machine. I'll be able to put some minor leather to stabilize it, but I don't want to waste it. From the asset panel to the zipper panel, I'm just going to make half an inch mark on the zipper panel. Once I'm finished marking, I'll roll it to connect the marks. You can use your chalk. I'm just going to use my pen to connect it. I'm going to take the asset panel. I will lay the asset panel on, on the barrel mark that I made. I will ensure that the middle of the asset panel is on the middle of the zipper panel. So you take your tape rule, get the middle. So the total length of this zipper panel is 10. So the middle definitely is going to be 5 inch, inches, right? So I'll put it there. For the asset panel, the total length is 14 inches. So the middle is going to be 7 inches, okay? So I'm going to get the asset panel. Ensure that the center of the asset panel is on the center of the zipper panel, like this. You can use your double sided tape or you can just put some gum on it to kind of hold it in place temporarily. Careful not to spill your work. Exit. So I'm just going to take it, take the middle, align it with the middle of the zipper panel, like this. Ensure you follow that mark. Remember, we've made a mark, a barrel mark. I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine now. And back stitch first. So take note, I'm at the down. I'm using a red thread because I'm using size 23 needle. So I'm sewing from this place all to this place. Oh. Now back stitch here. Once I finish sewing it like this, I'm not sewing it up yet because I don't want to have two lines of stitches. Remember, we've not top stitch on this one, too. I'm going to apply gum on this part, gum the lining to it. Let it dry a bit, and I'm going to take it and just lay it on top like this. I use my hand to kind of smoothing it out. I'm going to be sewing the zipper. I've not sewn the zipper to it. I'm going to, yeah, after we are going to be piecing the zipper teeth, just like this one. I'm going to take a measurement where the zipper teeth is going to be. So I'll take like half inch measurement from the edge here to this. And that's where this zipper is going to be. Like, quickly going to mark half inch out. This is where we are going to start our zipper head form. We just take the zipper, and I've made a mark here. This is an half inch mark from here to here. We are going to be hiding this raw part. I will take it and fold it like this. Okay. So I'm just going to apply a little gum at the edge here, then attach our zipper to it like this. This is an half an inch mark that I've made, so I'm just going to fold this raw edge of the zipper on that mark like this. I see, 
then i will glue the zipper to the panel and it's going to go like this like this and before i do that i'm going to be applying gum on this side of the zipper panel if you have a brush i advise you to use a brush so i will take the, the zipper so there's a mark here i'm just going to take it and just form it you can clip in place if you want So once you've gone, bring your lining. If you want, also apply some gum here so that it can stay. Okay, so I'm going to sew from this point all the way to this point now. And I'm going to sew from here all the way to this. Then I'll raise this up and just backstitch i'm going to top stitch on this before i do that i'm going to be sewing this to it i'm going to use my pegs to kind of hold them in place i'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and sew from here to here okay your thread long and tie it that will make a work meter so what i'm doing guys i'm personally passing the thread out and trying to finish off the thread because most time i don't like back stitching on my back be able to fix this zipper panel to it so i'm going to be fixing the bottom panel i've done the measurements and it's about three inches by one inch three by one inch so from here to here it's three inches this to this is three inches here to here is one inch so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take my seam ripper or you can also use your scissors and just cut some tiny tiny holes on it where we are going to be putting our bottom feet we are going to need four bottom feet guys so if you want to know get the explanation very very well detailed explanation please go and watch my other videos i actually explained on how you can fix your bottom stores. Remember the measurement is three inches from this point to this point is three inches, and from here to here is one inch. After that, you just take your seam ripper and you put tiny holes on the four marks. Okay, I'm going to be stabilizing this with two layers of this leather that I've used before to so make it very, very hard. I've stabilized it with two layers of leather. This is the first one, and this is the second one. So, this is just to make it thick. I'm just going to cut out the lining for this using this template like i'll just cut it the same size with the ester now i cut the lining using this so i'm just going to apply gum then put it on it like this i'll take it so i've already applied some gum then i'm just going to put this I cut it a bit excess. I cut the lining a bit excess. So I'm going to be trimming off. So when I'm through, I just take my scissor and trim off the excess. Then we are going to put the bottom panel. I'm just going to take some measurement from the main panel down here. You can use half inch. So I'm just going to take so I've made a mark on it You can take half inch mark from the bottom I'm just going to apply a tiny line of gum on the edge here Then I'm going to place it like this you don't have to be in this You want to get a very nice stitch <laughs> So I'm even using my hand to assist the mannequin. Remember, this is very, very thick now. We are doing a very strong and hard bag. We're almost getting to the end. So 
guys i've sewn this on uh, one side of the main panel to the bottom panel so i'm just going to take the second side of the bottom panel and sew to the second main panel now so before then we are going to make a mark and half an inch mark on where we are going to be placing the bottom panel like this make an half an inch mark i've made a mark half an inch mark so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this part of it to apply some glue on it then we are going to place it applied gum i'm just going to be placing it on it to gum it to it i'm just going to take it to our domestic manual machine and sew on it okay you just take your time guys because remember this is an external stitch we want it to be very neat so you take your time as well Get to the end, you can either leave a long thread or you can back stitch if you want. But most of the time, I just leave a thread at the end if I really want my work to be very, very neat. This is the bag. I've not finished, I've just sewed the bottom to it, so we've not sewed the sides. Okay, so this is going to turn out to be this is the inside of it. Some part of the inside was showing, so I just have to take another lining for the bottom to cover it, then sew another stitch, which is very, very neat. And I would love the way the design came out like two line of stitches. So it's not really a problem. If it's coming, I can still leave it at that. It's because I'm using a colorful lining. If I was to use a black lining, I wouldn't mind that much. So let me just fix the zipper so you see how it's going to be. Then there after we are going to fix the size. I'm just fixing the zipper so you see the way it's going to turn out. Let me fix the zipper to it. 